Yeah, what was passed was Fit 21, right? That's what they call it, a Fit 21 yeah, they, bill. That, that was one that they passed. So there's a couple of things that happened. There was the I think the overturning of SAB, it's the staff accounting bulletin. Mm. And it was uh, a pivot in how Bitcoin would be treated by lawmakers and regulators. I don't want to dive down too deep into it because uh, there's articles and articles, but it's called SAB 121. And then there was FIT 21, which is, makes changes into the regulation of crypto. Um, and it, it allocates a jurisdiction over uh, assets and venues between the Securities Exchange Commission and the CTFC. Yeah, um, that was supposed CFTC. to be. Yeah, that was supposed to be good for crypto. Mm -hmm. um, just getting clarity is, I think, is is more of what that's really doing. Uh, and then the, to me, the big news there was Biden being against it, but saying he won't veto it. The three of these things together just feels like a huge, like. Maybe upheaval is the wrong word, but at least maybe a wave, a big wave that pushed crypto better, at least in America. Like maybe we're getting to a place where I don't have to be scared each time I do something crypto-ish, um, either as a business <laughs> or as a person. I think somebody's <laughs> watching you. And I think that's the first yeah. big step, right? Like until now, every different uh, regulations that passed wasn't really, wasn't really looking great. So now it's really it's really looking like there is um, some desire to support um, the crypto industry in US. Um, yeah, and uh, it really it really sounds good. There was also um, the Libertarian Convention, and uh, both oh, yeah. candidates there um, they both talked about being positive about crypto, um, rejecting CBDC. So it, it does look like overall there is a there is a movement that seems to go in the positive direction in us which would be really really just think for only because yeah. you're a french guy living in switzerland neither of those are the libertarian candidate they were I know. Both yeah. trying there's there's actually like i think six uh uh and you know this other guy chase oliver is the guy who uh yeah. who got it got it but uh, libertarian can candidates have always been pro crypto and rfk and 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 uh donald trump going there basically was their time to say, hey, we're pro crypto, even though Trump has really never shown it before. Um, I don't That's think. not true. I mean, didn't who didn't he release or somebody close to him release those <laughs> Trump tokens? Yeah, that wasn't that right? I mean, the like Trump NFT. Ago, but... I don't mean like recently, but yes. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I doubt I mean, he was so about that's love of crypto, right? <laughs> that's yeah. supporting. <laughs> but, and maybe but yeah. that's not related to him. I followed it not at all. How about that? So yeah, that, I, I'm yeah, not no, really I mean, big uh, in me the NFT too. Stuff. Um, I mean, I'm just encouraged to see that I hate it. I like, I, I just want them. Like, the thing should be, I should be able to buy whatever I want whenever I want, no, no matter what it is. That's that's the libertarian pr cr uh, position. Correct, correct. And we're getting to a place where, well, you can as long as this, this, and this is true. So that's regulated, and that's not really any fun. I think um, I think that's what it comes down to. In the yeah. U.S., the regulatory standards are: I know what's best for you, but it's yeah. it's all it's all painted over with. You know, I'm protecting everyone, and I'm doing yeah. this. I'm this gatekeeper for these things, and I'm I'm actually painting a brush right now. I'm just doing that with my hand. You can't see it, but <laughs> it's it's protecting people from the. F Look, it's two things: it's greed that caused. Mm -hmm the reasons behind the regulatory actions a hundred years ago, right? A hundred, a little less than that, but those situations exist today where at least in the U S people don't want to take responsibility for their actions. There are criminals who then will say whatever they can say to get you to give them money. There's those two situations and those two groups come together. The, the, the bad guys, the ones who trick people into, into giving them stuff and the, other people who are just looking at putting their money into something that's that inbuilt i just want something as easy as possible and i and i hate to say that because a lot of people get involved in crypto even today whether it's nfts whether it's coins whether it's icos before um initial exchange offerings you know those kinds of things 
<laughs> a lot of people got in because it's like put in a hundred dollars, come out with a Lombo. <laughs> I mean, so right. there's... The thing I don't like is like the stuff that where people are doing bad things like FTX or whatever to in my head or the way I view it is like that, that part of it isn't crypto at all. Right. None of it. Anything yes, when, yes. Once it's custodial. Yeah. Then, you know, I, I, I think it's fine. Like, yeah, it put protections there to prevent bad people. But as we get into the side chains and, and more and more technology comes out where it all like an, an exchange happens or a store mm -hmm. happens or whatever, and it, and none of it is custodial. What, what I fear is like, they're going to be getting in there and trying to regulate that too, because you made it. Yeah. Not because you ever are holding anybody's assets. Right. So Divi in particular has always, tried very hard wherever it can to not custodialize funds. Um, and as the technology gets better, we'll be, you know, we'll be able to do th things like this. We're about to come out with side chains that ha can do all of these different things without take without your money being in somebody else's hands the whole time. So what, what I fear is they're going to put all this stuff in, they're going to conflate crypto with all this custodial crap that, you know, where bad guys should go to jail. Yeah. And where if it's crypto and, and it's it's the entire services are non-custodial, what, what I'm what I personally am fearing is when I said we, uh, what I'm meaning is somebody, you know, creates the code and and encourages people to de deploy nodes on a on a side chain. Right. So now there are people who are doing this. There's there's yeah. you know, individuals doing this. And the side chain, you know, performs this function or whatever. I'm afraid they're going to go after those people um that, that's the thing i'm worried about I and mean, we've seen it with uh like with the samurai wallet kind of thing yeah um now those guys were a little outrageous in their advertising i have to admit <laughs> but if, uh if that's look what at i'm worried Fit about 21 which just passed right or it yeah. wasn't it wasn't rejected so you're talking about the basics of it are they're trying to decide on whether something is decentralized or not it's very broad on which their terms are for decentralization, but essentially they're trying to fit decentralized items, right? Decentralized chains, yeah. coins under the CFTC and centralized, if I said that correctly, under the SEC. Yeah. You can have a blockchain. Is it really truly a blockchain? That's the whole debate if it's centralized. Um, and I, I think that's, that's the weird kind of gray area we get in. Um, I think today we can say that everyone has said no, that you can have somewhat centralized blockchains. I may be a purist and say, I don't think you should call yourself a blockchain unless you're decentralized. Yeah. But then again, you have side chains, which may be private side chains. Um, and what it comes down to, if we look at just Fit21, and I'm not an expert in this this regulatory bill here um but i think what they're saying is is that no issuer or any affiliated person controls 20 percent or more of the asset or its voting power what does that mean right. mining power or, or right. decisions made for the blockchain so i mean in a side chain or any blockchain that's brand new side chain or blockchain if it launches today usually the developer has the most control over it immediately so it's yeah. always centralized satoshi was centralized when it was just him and later just how two people running the blockchain and then of course you start adding those people it's totally well it's always becoming more and more decentralized um as divi or dash or litecoin or any of these blockchains right so yeah, so, as I said, I think it is um, it is really going in the right direction because previously any different regulation was not making any difference between mm -hmm. custodians and non custodial um, technologies, right? Sure. So mm -hmm. I, obviously we're not we're not there yet, but the difference that they are already making show that there is at least a little bit of understanding of I, of how it works, and we could hope or. Yep, we could expect or at least hope that uh, the next the next steps will continue in that direction. Um, in reality, the, um, 
the market is asking for regulation, right? Like when you have regulations, insurance can come there. Uh, big institutions can come there because now they have insurance. Yeah. Like you have a whole part of the economy that can now uh, take part in that that part of the market. And obviously, um, it is why it is it is interesting for crypto. And I think that's what we talked about. I think two or three videos ago, where we were saying that while these are not really crypto thing and even opposed to crypto in some ways um that they are what the market is today and so there needs there needs to be those solutions that come and having some regulations that do not impact um trustless and non-custodial technologies will will definitely be the goal and if that really comes to um, maturity right like a a good, what we could expect as a good result um, would actually strengthen the side chains technology that we have compared sure. to the interoperability technology that are currently being looked upon, right? With the centralized smart contract, it, mm -hmm. we actually have a technology that is going, that is not using that and so completely exempt from um, being at risk from those regulations unless they really attack completely decentralized and trustless um, solutions. Yeah, yeah I, I don't have expectation it'll get better. I have hope. <laughs> um, I, I think people are mostly looking for, for clarity rather than regulation. Like, uh, like just, I don't want to, you know, I, these companies and individuals don't want to feel like doing this thing is, has the potential to get you in trouble. That doesn't necessarily mean the same thing as I want it regulated. Uh, that, that's my position. Like, that's the way I feel about it. Like, I want to feel safe that it's okay for me to just go ahead and do this. And when they do it, when they try to take the position, yeah, it's okay for you to do it. There's always this but or however, or unless, which is you got to do it this way. Um, and that's how yeah. everything is done. So there's no expectation it won't be done that way. I just, personally, I really just get, I hate, really dislike it. Um, but, you know, I don't think you can expect anything different. Yeah, yeah. And the SAB is 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 obviously all of it is better because in the in the respect that it's trying to prevent situations like FTX, right? Yeah. Because those safeguardings, the centralized or decentralized, um, the gray area for the new coiners. I think I think when we talk about existing crypto people, they understand this. Obviously, existing people could see that Celsius wasn't a good idea. Yeah. I never got I mean, into that. I mean, <laughs> correct. I mean, it yeah. takes an amount of knowledge and it takes an amount of experience, right? It's That's wisdom, essentially, in these kinds of things. And this isn't, please, if anybody's listening, I'm not being critical of the fact that you may have lost things in Celsius. But there were clear signs from these, from these, from a point of view, through experience, the same thing would be true with FTX. There's reasons why. I didn't participate in FTX. There's reasons why I didn't participate in Celsius. That risk adverse, you could say, personality that I have also <clears throat> limits me in high risk, high return situations. So there's all sorts of things that go into those spider, spidey sense signals that, um, that's a double-edged sword, right? I didn't lose anything, but then, of course, you may have invested in or bought into other things like tokens or NFTs, and you had a right. five hundred thousand well, I mean, percent gain. It's a rare <laughs> person that that didn't get burned at all. I got burned bad on stake count, and that was the last time oh, I did yeah. everything. Yeah, I, it's the last time I did anything custodial. Like Rob I have, is going to punch me now. See, that's what I'm saying. I, yeah, no, I have <laughs> I have ex I have extreme skepticism for anything custodial um but sometimes you have to right like so uh, you know anytime you want to convert into dollars there's a custodial path there and you you, you don't have a choice yeah um, i think that's it your you, your on ramp is custody so no yeah. matter what you're going into fiat from yeah. fiat you're going into some custodial situation the minute a wire transfer and ach happens Somebody somewhere has custody of both or or at least access to both your cash 
<laughs> and, yeah, your and your crypto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>